everyone welcome back to wendy's crafting friends i'm jody and i'm here to do another tutorial with you so we're using citrus celebration from sam subscription bead boxes and it's such a fun box you guys um i did an unboxing earlier uh probably maybe five videos ago so just look for the citrus celebration unboxing and design and um you will see everything that came in it um, we're going to make a bracelet today. So I'm looking forward to doing that with you guys and having that little bit of like an easy to do pretty bracelet that is very sunshiny and fresh looking and just really pretty. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this is what I have here. We have this beautiful amber looking check glass flower. We have some pretty check glass leaves here. Um, really really pretty in that very pale green i have some check glass and clear and swirl pumpkins and then i also have some um, carnelian pumpkins a couple green bicones uh, a couple of these little tiny green flowers and we have some of the orion four point check glass spacers and some little gold and white um, seed beads so this is what we're going to do I have my my bead strand here and it's about nine and a half inches worth of bead string and wire and we are going to use this as our focal that really really pretty um, I want to see how these fit on really pretty little flower I love our little flowers let's see if we just string it I think maybe could probably use a seed bead right there so let's grab the white because I think the white would really stand out so let's just do a little white seed bead there and one right here and then let's string on our leaves okay yep that looks right And just make sure you're stringing, when you string your leaves, there are two sides to them because they're kind of curved. Make sure no matter what you're doing, they're both the same on um, each side, if that's how you want it to be. <clears throat> and then we can do another little white one right here. Okay. That looks good. And then let's go in with one of these little green Orion spacers. And we're going to use some of these beautiful carnelian pumpkins. They're just so pretty. And I would think, let me see if I want to do no spacers in between them. What I like about these two is they all have just a little bit different of a shape to them because they are hand cut. So they're just a little bit different, each one of them. Really like that. So let's put this one on. And then let's go ahead and feed these on. No spacers in between. I'm trying to decide if I want spacers in between them. Maybe I want to do like the little gold seed beads. Let's try that. Just to give it a little more bend because they are flat sided. Okay, yeah, I think I like that. Okay, let's do that. There we go. And then we can end it with one of these little green Orion spacers, just like that. All right, I'm glad we went back and did that. <clears throat> it just adds a little space to it, a little breathing room, I think. There's a lot of times I don't like to use spacers just because I'm like so bead greedy that I just want to put as many beads on as I can. And I feel like if I use too many spacers then I'm not putting enough beads on, but that's okay. All right, so I mean, technically they are beads, even though they're spacers, right? Okay, so there's that much of our bracelet. Let's see where we're at with that. Okay, yep, we're about halfway through, so that's good. All right, then I would like to do these little glass, check glass pumpkins. And let's just kind of stay with that theme and do the little gold spacer in between. And 
we'll do three and we'll see where we're at. Cute, that looks really, really cute. He's doing the 70s one with him with them right now, the 70s um, uh, themed trivia. I can hear some 70s music playing. <laughs> All right. We can actually do one more of the pumpkin on each side. And then I think we'll end it with the green bicone. So this is gonna end up turning out to be a pretty quick and easy um, little bracelet. Maybe while we're at it, we could make a little pair of earrings to go with it. Now let me just make sure this isn't too big that I didn't just make it way too big, overcompensating. Um, I did, so you know what? We're going to actually take off the green bicones. We don't need those. Now let's check this out. Oh yeah, that's that's perfect. All right. And then we're going to use these crimp style, these style crimp beads, the ones with the little plunger on them. I just totally lost what I was doing. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna loop that right on through our, our little um, lobster clasp there. And then just slide that up. And these are great because they just look like little beads. I can't use my flat pliers, I just don't have enough strength. So I use the very front of my crimps to push that little plunger in. And just like that, now it looks like a little bead. And they hold really nice, so I don't have any problems with them. Once I figured out how to do it properly, I haven't had any issues with them. Okay. And then let's put our jump ring on. I see our jump ring's a little open, but don't worry, we'll fix that in a minute here. Just gonna feed that through one bead here. Can you guys hear that? Oops, I just <laughs> pulled my jump ring through. All right, so let's go ahead and pull that down. You can use your pliers to just kind of make yourself a little space here. Not only do you get great little videos, fun little videos, you get to hear some music in the background with their singing. It's um, it's really a buy for one, <laughs> buy one get one free deal. <laughs> All right, let's open this bad boy back up here, and then let's close it all the way. All right. Oh, that turned out really cute. I think it needs a dangle though. No, you know what? It doesn't need a dangle because it has this going on. So I think that's just fine. But you know what? We have time. Let's make some earrings to go with it. Okay. I got everything we needed. We're gonna use some kidney um, ear wires here. And I have all these sweet little goodies. And we have our matching flowers for our focal on our bracelet. So that's gonna be just about perfect. Um, for the bottom, let's feed on a little gold um, uh, seed bead and one of these really pretty little green guys. And let's do this bead, beautiful check glass bead here. 
And then let's just do the same thing. These are gonna be a little bit longer. You can shorten the style if you like, absolutely. So there's the bottoms of our, ear, of our earrings. We're just gonna do a simple loop. Bring that right over. Make sure it's closed all the way, but don't break your seed bead because then you're gonna have to redo it and you're gonna be sad. Okay, so there's the bottom. And then the top, we will have, we'll do like a little white one. And we'll do this nice little round pumpkin. Let's do another white one. And then let's do our little green flower. Keep it really cute. There we go. And then we can do a simple loop for this one. And then we can hook all these together for our earring. There we go. And then we can put it right on our ear wire. Just like that. That looks really cute. Okay, you guys, let's do the other one. Get down there. Goodness gracious. That one doesn't want to go. Let's get another one. <laughs> no, I don't understand that. We just fit one right on there. I think it's me. I think it's the user, not the... Oh, maybe. Let's try this one. Oh my goodness, you guys. Am I going to have to go through every single one of these little beads just to try to find... Oh, there we go. Goodness. I was like, about to give up. <laughs> Say one's going to be missing a seed bead, then that's just all there is to it. All right. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and cut that. There's our one piece. And then let's do the white ones. Our cute little pumpkin bead, a little melon bead, I should say. And then our little flower. A little green flower, just adorable. Check last green flower. I know you guys can hear that. <laughs> All right. And let's go ahead and do our simple loop right here. I don't know if they realize like how much the sound carries. Like I'm gonna have to say, you do realize that whenever I'm, I'm recording that everybody can hear you. They can hear you sing. All right, now we have this one all said and done. And let's go ahead and open it up and get this little on here. And there we go. And then I will turn this around and we will try on these earrings and I'll try on my bracelet. All right guys, I'll be right back. All right guys, here are the earrings. I just think they turned out really cute. They are a little bit on the long side, which is okay for me. I mean, it's not super long. It's like right about here. So I think it's perfect. And then here is our bracelet. So that's the front of it. We have our flower with the little leaves and then our beautiful carnelian and our check glass. 
all the way around. So I hope you guys like this one. I think I had a lot of fun doing it too. And I love this box. This box is amazing. It really is one of my favorites, if not my most favorite so far from Sam's Beat Box. So much love to you all. And I hope you have a great Sunday evening and I will be talking to you all week. Bye guys.